This is SE Featured. This is the power of sports. How do we measure the space between imagination and experience? Where's the line between what's virtual and what's real? Maybe the only way to know is to cross the line and never go back. After dropping out of a motorsport engineering course at a local college, Jan Mardenborough used a custom-made game console in his bedroom to enter a competition for video gamers with a prize too far-fetched to believe. I just booted up my PlayStation one morning and there was a new menu, GT Academy Tryouts. What's all this about? You know, they're talking about making a real-life racing driver from somebody that's playing a game. That was the point and the prize of GT Academy, the competition to go from gamer to racer, virtual to actual, from playing in your bedroom to driving a professional sponsored race car. Everybody was skeptical. They said just because a guy is good at Tiger Woods golf does not mean he's gonna go and win the Masters. By finishing among the top qualifiers, Jan earned a chance to test himself against other gamers in a real race car. Moving yourself from the safe environment of a, of a PlayStation to the real life car, but he said, Mum, there's, there's, there's not much difference. Of course, he can't rewind and replay, but there, there doesn't seem to be much difference. Technically, I was very good at knowing car settings. I knew what certain uh, roll bar changes, spring settings, I knew if it was softer, harder, what, what it would do to the car, and I was clued up on car setup anyway from games on the last day he faced off against three other finalists in a race on the Silverstone circuit to win the GT Academy with a sudden move to pass in the final stretch Jan crossed the finish line and won Jan's face was just a, a, an absolute picture of joy first thing was like I want to ring my mum and I'm on the podium talking to him, saying, like, Mum, Mum, I won GT Academy. Hello, um, yeah, I kind of won GT Academy. Camera guy's name is like, ah, screaming. It was a best moment ever. Properly cool. Jan's career accelerated from there. In three years, he went from racing GT cars in Britain to a top three finish at Le Mans to winning his first race in GP3, a feeder series to the pinnacle of the sport, Formula One, in 2014. The press release has said he's a gamer. He was not a gamer, he was just a young, professional, fast racing driver. And then came spring 2015, and a track Yan had played on video countless times. A track where 70 drivers have died in competition. Nürburgring in Germany. It's the best track in the world. It's my favorite track. The car went very light at the front and next thing, you know, you, you're just looking at the sky. I, just closed my eyes and then took my hands off the steering wheel and tried to brace myself. Me personally, I thought we lost him. I did. Jan was taken to a nearby hospital with minor injuries. There, he found out. A spectator was hit and killed. What guilt, if any, did you feel? You're behind the wheel, and uh, it's massive guilt, huge guilt. 
it's uh, something which I wouldn't want anyone else to experience. It stays with you, someone has lost their life. It's never gonna go away. So I wanted to know that I could function in my job with that weight. Less than a week after the crash, he knew what he needed to do. Get back behind the wheel at his local track, Pembry. When I got in the car and turned the engine on, visor down, it was like riding a bike and it's like, this is home. What thought, if any, did you give to stopping? None, because this is what I'm born to do. This year, Yan is spending most of the season in Japan, racing at the country's highest level. 155,000 fans have come to Suzuka to watch him and others at the start of the Super Formula season. Oh, it's real now. You do your green flag back, and then you come back to the start-finish line to start the race, and the lights go on. That's, that's game time. Except it's not a game. Six years after winning a contest online, Jan's life races beyond the border of any screen. It's not about a prize. It's about a profession. Making a living out of racing a car from playing a game which you're playing. Go for it. But it's possible. You can do it. It's possible. For Jan Martinborough, there are many ways to describe the journey here. But the best may be the simplest. Real.